Hey, aloha, my name is Sunny Savage, and today is day three of the Eat Local Maui Challenge of 2021. Uh, eating 100% uh, locally grown, forage and raised foods from the Hawaiian Islands. And I did cook up some more pa'i'ai waffles for my son uh, this morning. And I had a lot of questions about that. People were just asking if there was anything else added and it's there's nothing else added. You just put the straight pa'i'ai, which is hand pounded kalo or taro, into the waffle iron. Um, you'll wanna make sure and have the waffle iron oiled, uh, but that's it. So anyways, uh, for myself, for breakfast this morning, um, I have to be gone for several hours and I'm kind of running, but I was able to just fire up the oven this morning and um, cook some pumpkin from my garden. And so I'll be making some pumpkin soup later. Uh, but right now, um, at the same time I was cooking the pumpkin, I did the pumpkin seeds. And uh, I also uh, did some cassava, which uh, we had harvested up yesterday. Um, and I've got a bunch of different fresh herbs from the garden and salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna have some of the cassava along with some of this uh, wild strawberry guava juice, Tulsi from the garden and blue butterfly pea from the garden tea. And I'll bring this as my little snack, a fig that also came from the garden today. So yeah, planning ahead is like really, really, um, key with eating food because myself included we just get stuck with um not planning and then having to like be out and about and buy food or quick snack items so anyways that's a huge part of this challenge is um really you know living that um so all right it's kiabe season right now throughout the islands and I would say Kauai probably has the least amount of kiabe, uh, also known as mesquite. Prosopis pallida is the main species that we have here. It's these beans off that thorny tree down by the beach and uh, once you find beans that are free of mold and look really plump and good, um, we take them and give them a rinse and then um, break them into pieces like this size and break the whole pod up into those pieces and then cover with water. And the trick is that you boil one time and then you strain off the liquid and you use it as tea, but don't just throw away those beans. Now what we're doing is cooking a second time. So what are you doing? Squeezing them. Yeah, and why are you squeezing them? To get more juice. Yeah, there's the endocarp, the mesocarp actually, that surrounds the seeds and is actually what's holding all of that sweet goodness. So um, when you uh, squeeze it, it helps release more of the flavor as well as more of the galactomannan gums. The gums in there are really, uh, have a lot of great uh, beneficial health properties to them as well. So we'll typically boil our beans three times and you can um, keep them separate or you can mix all three boils together. Um, but yeah, the Chiave tea is delicious just to drink. Everyone is always surprised thinking that there's added sweetener and there's not. It's just so naturally sweet. Um, we've got some popsicles that are going in the freezer and uh, you can also add Chiave to different broths that you're making. Um, so anyways, and yes, yes, you can take the dried beans and then dry them further. So they're super, super crispy dry. And then I'll put these into like a Vitamix, um, again, snapping them into the smaller pieces. Uh, it needs to be a high powered blender and you do have to sift it afterwards, but then you have a nice flour as well. So kiave. All right, winding down our day with some pumpkin soup. Uh, the uh, pumpkin comes from the garden, toasted the seeds, lots of herbs, some ali'i mushrooms. About to throw down.